Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. We are finishing up 2020, and I know so many of us are excited that we are finishing out 2020. It has been a difficult year um, worldwide, and I know that you've been feeling some of that. And I know that there are many who have felt the difficult year of 2020, and I know we're excited about welcoming in 2021. But I do want to remind myself, and I want to remind you too, that no matter how difficult 2020 has been, our God is still working. And this, I think, is important for us to realize that there is nothing that befalls us, nothing that happens in us, in our lives, that is meaningless or purposeless. God is always working, accomplishing what he wants to accomplish in our lives, even when it is difficult. And so that is comfort to me, though, that my God, the God of the world, the one and only God, is working no matter what happens. And I put my trust in that and my hope in that. We have been looking in the book of Daniel over the last year. So we talked about the names of God and we talked about holiness and what holiness means. And one of the questions we saw in the book of Daniel was, who can stay the hand of God? And the answer is nobody can stay the hand of God. No person, no government, no king, no president. No one can stay the hand of God. When he moves and he acts, he does it for his good pleasure. And so we are thankful that we are his people. And when we are doing that, when we are looking to him and we know that he is working out all things for his good, he is also working out all things for our good because our greatest good is him. And so I just want to take time for us to remember that 2020 has been difficult. Like right now, we are on the, the heels of going through COVID. We've had COVID in our family. We've had COVID in our staff. We have COVID in our church. Um, it's, it's been a difficult year, but our God is still working. One thing that I am saddened about is that we, don't, we haven't met last Sunday. We're not going to meet this Sunday because of COVID. But I can assure you that even though we're not meeting, our God is still working. And one of the things that we've chosen to do together as a family, a church family in 2021, is to read the Bible together. And so that starts tomorrow, first day of the year. Um, I think it's Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 are the readings for tomorrow. You can find that information um, on the email, on social media, however you want to. But I hope that you'll join us in that and reading God's Word through the year with us. That's extremely important for us to know God through His Word. And so I'm hoping that you're going to join on that part with us. And then next Sunday, which will be January the 10th, I believe, hopefully, Lord willing, we will be able to come together and celebrate and be excited about what God is doing in this new year. I love you. I am so proud of you, and I'm so thankful for our family here at First Baptist Church from Rose Inlet, and I expectantly look forward to what God is doing in and through us, and he is doing mighty things through our church and through his people in this area and to the ends of the earth. So, Happy New Year's Eve tomorrow. Happy New Year's. And I will look forward to seeing you sometime very, very soon. Love you. God bless.